Okay, here we go today, just like we wanted to. A Milano, the bigger version. Of course, I ended up with two of them. They both came with this type of pot. I think you can probably make a pretty hefty amount. I'm not sure if this is ever even used. Like, it's pretty nice. Pretty big and hefty one, and this one came with the other. I think it was lightly used, too. I don't see much going on, but... The reason I ended up with two is because the first one only had the little basket, which, you know, might be good for just a cup. So that probably could have been good enough. But I just really wanted the um, both of them. And another one did come with this big basket. So voila, that was pretty good. Good and that I fit in there. And I guess you can do enough. This big basket must make a pretty good amount. So I don't know which one we should do today. The little one and just make one cup. Or should we do the big one? I don't know. But let's go ahead and start it. And we'll get some water in here and, and get it going. I haven't used this. I don't know if I've used either of these ever. So we're gonna, just going to do them. I'm not sure how well they'll work. They all turn on. They do have a little bit of calcium in them, but not too much. So I mean, I'll do that later on. But let's just give this a, a go. The cool thing about these is look they have a valve for the coffee too rather than the little one there we go pretty good eyeballing Stevie um, rather than that little one just you turned on and went so this one kind of works like a bellman in a way or the predecessor or whatever but they're both just about the same so let's, we're going to use this one. We'll put this one aside now. We'll go ahead and uh, get this one going. So we got the valves. They both open. This one's a little sticky, but we'll go ahead and see what happens, huh? That sounds really good. We got the good old Apollo out, and we'll go ahead and grind up some coffee, and we'll make. Let's let's just do with the little basket. See how that goes, and maybe another time we'll do the big one too, but we'll do the little basket. So, so that takes some grinding to get enough. So we're going to do the little one. It still takes a, um, a pretty good amount of coffee. We're going to eyeball it. I haven't used these. You know, I did use another one once a long time ago, but we'll see how this goes. I don't have a tamp that size, but I'll use my skateboard creation. I'm just not going to tamp it that hard. I don't know how that'll work, but there we go. So we got that pretty full. I didn't tamp it super hard because I'm not sure this one might not need enough, but I do know what the gaskets are really tight. So we'll get that on there. That looks as good as I'm going to get it. Light comes on, yeah. So we'll go ahead and heat that up. Put there and we got that going so let's see if this one actually does heat up everything looks good sometimes these lights are dim but let's turn her on and worse comes to worse we'll just start up the other one too yeah that's warming up that's going to be epic <laughs> now when i do the bellman the electric bellman and we'll do some of those i kind of leave the this valve open so that when it first builds pressure I see a little drip and then you can shut it build a little more pressure or whatever that's kind of the way we do this and yeah that's a pretty big basket it would probably take a um, make a pot of maybe not what everyone would consider full espresso but pretty good and this is a mint container so that's pretty cool and we'll make a little latte here we have some milk ready we're going to steam that too and you know he's like that skateboard creation that guy from munich he made these for me got a long time ago like six seven years they're really cool it's nice i don't have any super big tampers because i use usually the only the old lapaboni ones but that's pretty darn good yeah we're getting some heat here so so far so good this is a super old ama milano Okay, we got our first drip, see them? So that's starting to go, that looks pretty good. 
think we have a little steam. Not much yet. But so what we'll do is we'll turn this valve off for just a minute. Let's see if it turns all the way up. We might get a few little drippage, kind of like the initial going, but let's just see what happens. We can play around with this. Yeah. Sometimes slower is the better with these. Let's build up a little more pressure. We'll, exper we'll experiment a little bit today. God, that's, so that's working pretty good. This is the little basket. Probably make one big espresso with that. And this basket is, let's see. Let's see what they look like. It's considerably bigger. So you probably for a pot or anything. But that's why I had to get to the... <laughs> just because I needed that bigger basket. And I don't know if you could find those. It's, they're not an easy thing to make, I guess. But <laughs> I've seen the video that they have, so you gotta have all those equipment. There we go. Well, so that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is just open this till I see an amount that I like. Then we'll steam some milk. Hey, that's pretty good. I wonder if it's ready to steam yet. Oh, it is. Well, 140, so it does steam pretty good. Still get some pretty good espresso. Look at that, come out of there. We'll get just a little more. Wow. That's pretty impressive. We better pop this baby off. That's going to drip, but that's all right. We always have our little handy dandy towel ready. But yeah, that came out pretty good. Shoot. Let's zoom down with my high tech zoomer. Tiny bit of crema. Big ass cup. I might have made it a little too weak, but I think it's going to be pretty strong. There's a lot of coffee in there. So we'll see what happens. There we go. And I do have a spoon over here. And it steams some not bad milk. It's a little powerful. You probably have to get your technique down with that one. Because it, it's a little powerful, a little quick. I could have probably done it slower, but it's going to do the full cappuccino. Or uh, whatever it's called. I know there's all the names. Sometimes I forget them all, but... God, we did it again. Look at that. Did I make a mess? I hate that. But anyway, yeah. That's two in a row. Well, actually, three. The first one might have been better if I had more practice. But look, that's pretty good. Looks pretty darn good. And so let's go ahead and um, see how it came out. A May Milano, the big version. This is... I don't know how long, probably in excess of 10 years or more before this one ran or the other one. This was just a blind test, no pre-running. Well, that's good too. That's a small basket. That's a big ass. <laughs> it's a pretty big espresso. You probably could make a little less. It might use, you know, use up coffee doing that, but if you're doing two or three cups, you could really either do the pot and just so it's more consistent and pour it into them all or you could just do one cup and a cup but AMA Milano large one once again successful and um, yeah these classic old machines just working still good and god you'd love to have one of these and this one worked excellent so next time we're going to do some more and subscribe for them we have the contest going and the next show we're going to have another little mini secret contest that's really good it's going to be all la pavoni that's that machine we're going to get out the bot magic box of parts and um, that's all going so it's <laughs> it's getting really hot this afternoon but now i got this big coffee i get to go hide on the other side of the house where it's cooler that's it